Hi everybody, this is Rally for another episode of C6CXC Geography Made Simple. Today, uh, I will be sharing uh, much information that is needed on the topic of slums. Okay, so a lot of persons may see uh, a residential space in which they might confuse it with what you call um, uh, a squatter settlement, right? Okay. Um, so in, in this presentation, I'll be sharing with you three types of um, social space, not necessarily three different spaces in particular, like one, two, three, but you know, three different paradigm. Okay, so, so we're talking about slums. Slums are spaces that were once residential, nice residential spaces, but over time due to lack of uh, maintenance, you know lack of upkeep uh what have happened is that the space itself has actually depreciated right um deteriorated should i say right uh for example you might have let's say uh in jamaica you have several communities right and in kingston in particular there is one in which i don't want to really call its name because i do not want any repercussion on this video regarding that community but there was a particular community in um near uh, South St. Ancho, right, was regarded as one of the uptown type of settlements um, in Jamaica, right, beyond that section of, of, of um, South St. Ancho, um, using the political, um, you know, divide, right, With, uh, beyond that section, you you could see that it, it would resemble what you call um, squatter settlement, capture land, you know, people just build up houses uh establishment anywhere right now that space right uh where i'm talking about um in south st angel was like the uptown what usually happen is that you usually have nice two bedroom three bedroom pretty houses nice well you know well articulated individual living there brilliant individual persons who have money you know two two bedroom three bedroom upstairs downstairs houses but over time because um oh this is something that uh, i don't know where, if it's if it's in existence where you are at but where i'm where i am at for every residential community there is always what you call uh a space that one would regard as a uh, squatter settlement a ghetto or uh, possibility of a slum right so for example um where i'm talking about right now beside it there was a what you call it a a, 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 a a space where in which persons usually give a lot of so the persons from this squatter settlement what, what was near the um the up class neighborhood uh they usually come over and they usually you know terrorize the people rob them you know do a lot of things so after a while the owners of these properties they actually just left they never sell they never transfer ownership they just left right now in leaving what happened that they left the house the two bedroom nice house three bedroom nice house upstairs downstairs house nice house right and they went further up town to Havendale, up um up by beverly hills up by those and back in those days in the 60s 70s um up there was regarded as bush up there was regarded as rural um enclave you know no development was actually occurring there so therefore the, the land spaces were relatively reasonable um you know in comparison to the ones that are near the, the, the town center right so what happened is that the persons from the squatter settlement you know because they squat on land and they build they just build haphazardly and i and i and i explain what is meant by squatter settlement in one of my previous videos right they just build and they, they establish um houses right beside this nice little space right so these persons now they actually came over and they occupied the individual's homes these two bedroom and three bedroom upstairs nice nice very nice place with nice roads and you know social services everything that a community would want right so they captured it but in capturing it remember um that these individuals who have actually moved out most of them did not actually sell their property no because they did not sell the property um the the, the, the legal transfer of documents which shows ownership for the property was not 
was not done, was not completed, right? Persons coming over, they, they couldn't lay claim to the property. They just occupied it. So they went into the house, they did their thing, and they went into the house, you know, change the lock, you know, do their thing, and they call it theirs. So over years, what happened is that, um, you know, persons just come in, you know, family, family grow up, you know, your children, children have children, the door drop off, you don't bother fix the door, you just use a piece of zinc to catch the door, the, the window fall out, you don't fix the window, you use a, um, a piece of board, a cardboard to just put where the window is because it is not your place, so as a result, you're not going to be spending monies so as to maintain the space, right? So over time, everything just fall apart, right? The lack of maintenance, lack of, um, you know, you know, improvement of infrastructure to the area becoming a slum. So practically what I'm saying is that slums are a space where it was once regarded as a, 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 a well-organized, structured community, residential community that have been um, deteriorated as a result of lack of maintenance and care, how should I say? Maintenance is the same thing as care, right? Let lack of maintenance or care. All right. So, um, I said that we're going to be mentioning three things, right? We're going to be mentioning squat about uh, the whole idea of slums, right? Now, slum. Uh, if you look into, for example, if you go on Google and you type up slums, it will tell you an area that has an overpopulated, um, which is overpopulated, uh, small space, overpopulated, a lot of people and it has a lot of social issues right but what i'm speaking about right now is about the origin of slums right out of slums you might end up with uh what you call uh uh squatter settlements i'm going to explain that in a bit and also you might end up with um persons although it it, it, it bird is not really subjective to um the area but it's um it's a social mental thing right you end up with what you call ghetto right uh which is a, a social behavior all right so let me delve a little bit more into the whole idea of slums now slums as i said before it origin from a space that was once occupied well maintained um well structured and organized right and after time uh the original owners actually left because of whatever reason and um you know other persons take over and because it's not their property they will not maintain right now what happens is that um in, in in some slum areas what will happen you might end up have like for example you might end up have an acre of land right one acre of land it's a big piece of land that right you might have one house right now what might happen is that that one house might be let's say divided in let's say that that one house have let's say 10 bedrooms right now, and this is just one example of many in which I'm going to be sharing. All right, so it have 10 bedrooms and it have several bathrooms. Now, in, 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 in the transformation just into a slum, what will happen is that this house with the 10 bedrooms, someone um, would probably turn this into a tenement yard, right? So therefore, it, it, instead of having 10 bedrooms, it's now 10 apartments and persons would like share bathroom and kitchen and, and living space, right? That in a sense it, it's, it's now being transformed into a slum where you just have a small space um you know with just the basic of of survival you might have a little running water it, the, the difference between a slum and a, a squatter settlement is that it it, it start off um having structure and organization now where the, the squatting comes in now remember it's a one acre land so it's a large space right over time, what happened? Remember, the original owners for that big 10 bedroom or 12 bedroom apartment, um, well, yeah, I wouldn't say apartment, it's a house, right? Um, either died or migrated or shifted location or whatever, right? So strangers take over the place. Nobody's maintaining the place. Windows are dropping out. Uh, the door want to paint. The, um, the, the house stop falling apart. Nobody's fixing it because it's not theirs. That's just the mentality, right? Okay, and then you might have some persons um, not having anywhere to live, so they just um, see a piece of land because an acre of land is a big piece of land. It's not your land, you just capture the house. So the person come on and they, they just start to build houses and one house leads to another house until eventually it's a big space with several different houses 
it doesn't have any structure as to um pathway um lanes or roads or whatever you just have tracks it doesn't have any structure as um, sanitary convenience social services you no know, structured water or, or, or light service right so this is where the slum actually um is now metastasizing going out into a, a larger problem uh where in which um you know you have white skate slums like we would find in in some of uh some countries throughout the the caribbean right i i try my very best to stay away from naming places because i do not want liable um for actually attributing certain social condition or uh, whether it is job based or whether it is um you know educational to any one particular area so please bear with me right so i am sharing now um the whole dynamics as slums right now slum is different from um squatter settlement squatter settlement uh you can have big fancy house on property that is not yours you're practically a squatter now as it relates to uh, a ghetto right a ghetto is a social mentality a mentality wherein which um persons behave a particular way right um normally it's a, a person we refer to in in, in in sociology as a social um is a social mentality that occur as a result of socialization you understand how you how you speak how you behave how you relate to each other you know um all of that has to do with uh socialization so ghetto is a state of a mind not necessarily a place right so you can have a squatter settlement really looking um nice and, and neat and it has and the individuals living there um is not what you call it it's not overburdened with any problem that might exist within uh a, 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 a space that you might call a ghetto right i might have a, a ghetto uh, a, 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 an area that you refer to as a ghetto and it the, the buildings are constructed um organized everything is outlaid as a nice town whether it be a suburban town rural town wherever and i'm going to be sharing um the difference between the rural urban and all that in a bit in in another video in which i'm going to be doing in settlements it is hope that you understand now clearly uh, what is meant by slums right underline definition a slum is a space that is overpopulated with people um the, the population density is high right the, the the structure the physical structure of the building is dilapidated is de deteriorated from how it actually began and this is as a result of the the, the the ownership of the property is is is, is like unknown a person just start to exist uh, for example the one in which i was sharing with you earlier on with regards to a particular community in south st and south south st andrew in in jamaica kingston right um now after the persons have actually um migrated from um from from that space they went up into the hills they call them um rural rural st andrew and all that right okay the persons who actually move from over the the nearby um squatter settlements into um these spaces um they start to occupy the premises and as a result of um you know certain behavior what what happened is that bad men uh gunmen uh troublemakers they now started to divide houses that were like three bedroom four bedroom five bedroom six bedroom into apartments and as a result of that you end up with uh, what you call tenement yard so you have one little room being rented by the so-called don or the, the person that have influence within the space not his place not her place but um as a result of you know the, the social hierarchy within the the community you find that um persons have to just abide by what they are doing so um a five bedroom ten bedroom six bedroom apartment um is now divided up um into one bedroom two bedroom right and um persons have to pay rent right and they share bathroom they share, they share facilities um you know all those little things that comes with um living into a space where in rich persons refer to as a slum as a result of this you find that um you know not much social growth exists within the space thank you very much for stopping by i catch you on another one bye bye peace out